The dry climate, high temperatures, and strong winds make a perfect combination for wildfires. Sunday morning, firefighters responded to a call for a fire in Baker's Canyon. The flames started at the base of a waste recycling plant called Aguinaga Green. Piles of mulch caught fire and the flames rapidly spread into the natural vegetation of the surrounding Santa Ana Mountains. Over 240 firefighters were at the scene. Captain Steve Consialdi explained in an interview the dangers his men are facing in the heart of the fire. Well, our firefighters are wearing P100, they're 3M P100 mask right now. It is thick smoke down in there. It's unhealthy. Some of the firefighters are experiencing headaches. Everybody's working together to try to contain this fire. The hazardous team is testing the air for levels of hydrogen cyanide, carbon monoxide, oxygen, and hydrogen sulfide. Baker's Canyon has six residential homes and an RV park. Everyone was suggested to evacuate on Sunday morning. The Red Cross set up an evacuation center at El Modena High School. The voluntary evacuation order was lifted at 6 p.m. on Monday. Orange resident Helena McGill was in the Santiago Canyon area on Sunday morning when the fire first broke out. We were a little nervous at first because we were sort of out in the desert. Everything was bone dry and, uh, you know, wildfires can spread really quickly. And there were three or four uh, fire trucks that had passed by on the road, and so we were pretty reassured by that and didn't feel in any immediate danger. The fire is under control and contained at the waste recycling site. The base camp set up at the Santiago Canyon Church is being wrapped up as they believe this waste plant disaster is nearing the end. This is Jessica Strongwater, Chapman News.